Okay, this is attempt number three in making this video. This is supposed to be just a couple of minutes long. The first attempt was the first time I've used Canvas to download a file. We we usually, oh, good grief. Uh, by gosh, I don't care what happens in this video. This is the last take. I went and got myself a cup of coffee to try to reset my silly self. I haven't drank any of it yet. Maybe that's the problem. But regardless, this is the final video I'm making on how to do this. We used Blackboard previously. This is the first class I've used with Canvas. So I'm learning all of this new, just like you all are. Let me get my screen shared. The issue with the last one was that I shared the wrong screen. I've been doing this a long time. You'd think I'd know how to do this. All right, here we go. Hopefully this is right. Okay, this is inside Canvas. This is not what you see. Even if I click the student view at the top right, the assignment isn't active yet. So you're still seeing what I see. That doesn't matter, and that's not the point. I wanted to talk to you really quickly, or maybe semi-quickly, on how to download a file from Canvas. This class, you're going to be, be provided, like I said, I'm not restarting this, so you're just going to deal with me stuttering. Um, you'll be provided some beginning data files that you'll modify, so you need to know how to download them. If you look here, it says download the file thisisme.docx. That's a Word file, right? So if I click it, I'm going to zoom in. On the keyboard, the bottom left, you have a CTRL. That's a control key. If you hold the control key down and scroll up with your mouse, it will zoom in. I'm just zooming in so you can see it better, right? So you can zoom in, you can zoom out. And if you get way in and you just want to go back to default, control zero is default. There we go, right? So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can see this better. All right. There is the file. If I point to it, then you get a screen tip pop up that says link. We know that's a link to a file because it says it is, right? Over here at the right, you have an alternative format. You're not going to use an alternative format in this class. I'm zoomed in so you can't see the whole thing because you need that file to modify, not a, not a different format here. However, this is really useful and really cool that Canvas has right here. Okay, so if I click this file, the file link to download it, let's see what happens. I'm going to zoom out. I click it, then it opens this, and I'm like, this is not a Microsoft Word file. Uh, and I look around, and at the top right, handily grayed out, so it's hard to see, you have a download link that you can click and it will download it but that's a little complicated and I don't like doing it that way I like the simple easy way so what I'm going to do is zoom back in so you can see better see that download arrow there's no screen tip pop up that one has a screen tip that one has a screen tip and that just says hey it's obvious I'm an arrow click me if I click that arrow that that's the universal symbol for download now I'm pointing like you can see my finger pointing uh, to signify download you can't see me today because this is what is today today's Wednesday May 24th and if I look at the screen it says it's 107 p.m. I'm working from home I was lazy this morning and drug around um, my hair is not really brushed, so you don't really need to see me today, do you? But anyhow, I'm pointing like you can see my finger. That little download arrow right there, if I click it and give it a second, there is my file. There is my file. Now I can save it wherever it needs to go, but that's how you download a file in our class. I'm going to zoom all the way back out. See, it says 100% default. If I want to download a file, I can click that if I want to. But if I want a one-click Johnny, I just click it. And there it is. All right, that's it for this video. I will see you online.